Apply provided skin prep. With tabs up, apply the adhesive base above the upper lip. Remove the liners that are remaining on the base at each cheek. For patients with a small face or an injury on the cheeks, apply the base tabs down. The base may be modified for patients with facial hair by cutting off the tabs and placing them on the cheeks past the hairline. Position the tube channel over the endotracheal tube. Press the neckband onto the hook strip of the adhesive base. Draw the ends of the neckband just below the ears and crisscross the band. Press the closures to the outside of the band to secure. With the tube resting below the channel, wrap strong adhesive tape one time around the ET tube. Press the tube channel onto the tube. Firmly wrap tape in a forward spiral motion around the channel and ET tube to secure. Adjust the fastener tabs on the neckband for a snug fit as necessary. To reposition the tube in the patient's mouth, unfasten the fastener tabs. While holding the adhesive base down, gently lift the neckband off the adhesive base. Move the tube to the desired position in the patient's mouth. Press the neckband back onto the adhesive base and secure the fastener tabs to the outside of the band. Change tape is necessary. The Dale Stabilock endotracheal holder can also be used on patients in the prone position.